Hello and welcome to another Hot Rodster review. In this video, I'm going to review the first eight chapters of the My Hero Academia Vigilantes manga, which is also known as the Vigilantes Beginnings arc. This is my very first blind review for this channel as I had never read this series before. I had no idea what to expect from this manga, but I honestly have to say that I was pleasantly surprised with how it added to the My Hero verse. But what would be more surprising is if you added my video to your subscription feed by clicking that subscribe button in order to stay up to date with my reviews on this series. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. When the concept of vigilantes was explained, it made me imagine what Deku's life would have been like if he never inherited one for all, yet still decided to be a hero. Especially since Knuckle Duster apparently has no quirk, and he beats up supervillains just fine. Not to mention there was a really cool panel of Knuckle Duster and Koichi that was clearly a reference to All Might and Deku. Both of these images clearly represented the beginning of a journey, and it was really cool to see small references to the original series throughout the manga. I really liked Koichi, or the crawler if you will, because he is so similar to Deku. He may not be quirkless, but his quirk is a bit underwhelming when compared to some of the big heroes in the world. And like Deku, he desired to be a hero, but lacked the confidence to actually make it happen. And again, like Deku, he has a heroic spirit. He can't just sit idly by while another person is suffering right in front of his eyes, and that pushes him into conflict. One of my favorite chapters so far was definitely chapter 7, where we get more insight into Tensei Ida. I love his interactions with Koichi because we got to see the difference in how a hero thinks about quirk usage versus how the average person thinks about it. Koichi has had his sliding glide quirk for nearly his entire life, yet he never even thought about moving in reverse in order to slow down and have better mobility yet Tensei Ida figured it out in mere seconds. Just seeing Koichi learn from an experienced pro hero with a mobility quirk was just awesome in my opinion. Another thing I really liked were the two side characters, Knuckle Duster and Pop Step. While these characters were a bit underdeveloped, they definitely added a lot of heart to this series. I feel like we'll get more depth and background on these characters in the future, and that is something I cannot wait for. I really want to know what Knuckle Duster's origins are specifically, as he is one of the most interesting characters in this manga. And I really want to know what inspired him to become a vigilante despite having no quirk whatsoever. I'm also curious as to what type of training he does in order to be as strong as he is. Popstep got some more development in Chapter 8, and that really allowed me to connect more with her character. Her motives for tagging along with Koichi and Knuckle Duster became more clear, as they didn't make a ton of sense at the beginning. She would always say things like, these two are the vigilantes, I'm just tagging along, or something similar to that. Knowing that she feels like she owes a debt to Koichi just makes her a super relatable character, and just more interesting overall. Her backstory is the reason as to why Chapter 8 was my favorite chapter of this arc. One thing that I noticed about this comic is that it had a monster of the week type of format. A lot of these characters did tell a similar story over and over again. Usually someone takes trigger and becomes a super villain. Then it is up to the vigilantes to stop them. The middle chapters of this arc got very monotonous for me, but it did change up a bit towards the end, which is a good thing. I honestly don't know how I would feel about this series if it feels all about random people taking trigger and having to be stopped. But it seems like this is a leading up to a much larger conspiracy and I just can't wait to see how it's going to play out. So when thinking about the timeline of My Hero Academia, I'm pretty sure all of this happens before the main plot. That's what I heard from a few people, and these introductory chapters definitely give me those vibes, especially since Tente Ida is still a hero, which means that he hasn't been paralyzed yet. Also, I believe I heard the Racerhead talking about how he was just about to start his teaching job at UA. I just wonder if the entire series is going to be set in the past, or if we'll get a little bit of crossover with the main story. I think it would definitely be cool to see how some of the large scale events, like All Might Retiring for instance, affects the Vigilantes. Overall, this series definitely has a lot of potential. I am definitely invested right now, and I hope that this series can keep me invested. I'm not too worried though since I have heard good things about this manga. I think I'm finally about to dive into a story arc now which I am pretty excited for. There was also some setup for that B girl villain so I wonder if she will be relevant in the next arc or arcs beyond that one. I guess the only way to find out is to keep on reading. If you like this video, consider watching another one. I talk about a variety of different topics on this channel, mostly anime though, so I hope to see you there. This has been the Hot Rodster, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.